Welcome back everybody to another episode of Banished with me, Vapor. We're continuing here with the 1.5 version of the Colonial Charter mod. And what I've done is, because I know we were having a bit of an issue with labourers, it was just a case of waiting for the children that had become students to kind of come through school a little bit. So I just let the game run on its own. I didn't do anything, I didn't change anything. Obviously this building has been replaced now after my... Yeah, slight oversight. But other than that, I've not touched anything else. And it's just allowed people to grow a little bit. <clears throat> um, the food has maintained itself quite nicely as well. I, I did kind of watch that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of going good. Um, bison. It really wants to sell me some bison, doesn't it? Well, I'm, I'm fine for the moment. Thank you very much. And oh, we've actually hit our fuel limit. Now, I've got to be careful. Because I think... Furnace fuel is also uh, classed as the same material, so we will increase that. And also, we're having a bit of a barn crisis. This one's full. This one was definitely not big enough. But when I thought about it, I need one over here anyway, because... Where is it? Yeah, we have our gatherer's hut, and we have obviously this here, and I might even extend the farmland over this side, so... First thing we'll do is we will put a barn in. We so I'm tempted to build that one, you know. Maybe I'll build that one more towards the city. Actually, that might fit quite nicely in there. Uh, almost. I'll put it there. Also, um, we've got our glass beam made now. Now, this was being built last time. And um, yeah, it's, it's now here, ready to go, and we're starting to get glass and bricks. So that's good. And remember, I don't know if if you guys actually remember that when I was trying to put a house in here, I couldn't. Because of this little red square. I've, I've actually looked at that, and I can't... Yeah, I can't figure it out. I did have a building there, didn't I? I had a woodcutter. But yeah, I've tried flattening, removing resources, and everything. And almost... Um, and also, when I was looking over here with the uh, mystical floating tree I've noticed that there's the same issue here you can see all those red lines but there's literally nothing there so yeah I'm not quite sure what, what that is it could be that tree interfering but I would assume that would only only be one red square and then actually well you can build on those areas anyway so I'm not too sure what that's about it's really bizarre I might actually uh have a have a chat with the uh, black liquid team and see if if they're aware of it and see if we can get that fixed because it's going to be slightly annoying if not slightly game breaking so right so we have um central market this they've still got stuff to remove so i'm going to stop them from removing all these trees because that's what my laborers are doing at the moment so console removal that was a massive area to ask them to, to do, and they've done a good job. They've cleared this for me, which which has helped incredibly. Here we go. Should I come and chop some of the trees down, maybe? No? It does make me laugh when you walk really far. They do one tiny thing. Well, he has actually finished this job. <laughs> oh, there's some food there as well. That's probably why we're getting quite a lot of food, thinking about it. Because they've just cleared this, and there's going to be food amongst all that, so... And they are, they're going to be moving all the resources for this as well. Another trade. Now this is rebuilt, but the problem is... I think... Firewood. Yeah, I've not put anything in here, so... You know, I'll just type that, would be quicker. Yeah. Even if something came, we wouldn't be able to be able to buy it anyway. How are we doing over here? Let's remove in. Okay. Reserve of firewood is low. Well, that's not, <laughs> not surprising. I've just uh, I tried to empty the complete lot of it into here. And there is two. Yeah, there's two of each in there. Uh, there's plenty of wood coming in. Maybe we do need to put another one. I will build the sawmill actually at some point. Because that will help quite a bit. 
let's put let's put another one in. I don't don't want to overload my single builder. In fact, we'll put another one in just to speed it up a little bit. But in the meantime, what we can do is plan some of what we're going to do over here. So we've got three houses there. Now they won't be able to, actually they might be able to build this. Oh, furnishings. Ah. I thought they needed glass. <coughs> Resources that needs to be covered. Now I think that's um, not the furniture maker. What does it look like? It looks like a plank of wood. Oh, probably flat pack furniture from Ikea because that's the <laughs> kind of shape it comes in before you build it. Furnishing. So it's a building supplier and a packer. Okay. I might have to actually swap these around for normal houses. Anyway, my idea was, this is where the, the road should actually be, but I was going to put like, not a garden so much, but just kind of a leading up to it because they look like quite regal houses, but... If I, I'm not at the stage of being able to build that, let's have a quick look at the buildings while we're here. <coughs> this building supply is a cross person who can house resources and to build complex structures. Right. Yeah. So we can't really build that yet. And I'm going to assume we're going to need some of these other buildings as well. Right, what we'll do is we'll cancel them for the moment. Keep clicking the wrong icons. Yeah, look, they've been they've been putting the wood. We'll just put some houses in. But I'm going to leave the same sort of gap. So I don't know if I'll be able to upgrade these houses. Oh, see what I mean? There we are. That's that issue. That's going to be a little bit annoying. And I'm going to leave a bit of a gap behind as well. Actually, this is the town centre, so maybe not. Maybe when we get further out, I'll build gardens, but. We'll go with pretty bog standard housing around here, I think. And uh, where's the road? Road, road. So we send a road out this way and this way. Right, what I'm thinking to build in here is I think the tail is close enough, but we'll we will go for things like weavers, uh, the ropery, bedding maker, and all these other little bits and pieces that you get. So it's much more like a town centre. I mean, I'd, I'm still try, kind of thinking of putting a bit of a garden sort of around here, but the houses are so close by. Hmm. Big plans, and not, I'm not sure 100% whether it'll look great or not. You see, that's <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> quite a big building. Do you know what? I'm actually, thinking about, we'll have the houses, and we'll do the little bit of a garden, and we'll put. Uh, the beer garden somewhere as well. Mm, maybe over here. Maybe in this area. And then this way we can build like these these bedding makers and things like that. This like, right be in between the market and this area as well because I'm guessing they'll need some of the resources from over here. Anyway, I'm just nattering on here and not actually not actually doing anything. Right, what's going on here? Yeah, we're having a bit of a crisis when it comes to the uh, furnace fuel at the moment, but that's down to firewood. I'm going to speed the game up, because we're not struggling when it comes to food at the moment, so we'll, we'll get it moving a bit quicker. How's the school doing? Oh, that's not the school, is it? So we've got 41 adults... Nine, so ten students now, and four children. There we go. They're empty now. I'm just going to give them a minute to catch up because nothing will ever work otherwise. What can we do? Where's food? Oh, here's brewery. Inn and garden. Small tavern. Brewery, winery. Do you know? I've never actually built this before. You have to try and do that, but that's, I do like this. Oh, they've changed it, I think. 
Has that changed a little bit? I think they might have changed the model on that. Hmm. I'm going to put that. I think. I'm going to put that about here. And we'll pause that. I know it's really far for the guys that live over here, but what we'll probably do is just put a little tavern in. <laughs> Hopefully there, if we can clear that space. Right, so we got that. We need to um, build the apiaries as well, don't we? Get some honey to make the mead. And we were going to build this too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, actually, I think I'm going to start making a note of what it is I'm going to do because... <laughs> it's all just coming out in one one big go. Ah, actually, a very important thing that we need while we're in this area. The town hall. Not that I'm a big fan of having um, transients in the village because they spread diseases, but you know when when you're struggling for people, this you know this comes in really handy. You can actually walk straight through the building. That's, that looks a bit weird, actually. Let's see. I think we'll build that there actually, and we'll let them build that. We'll just run. The road right through. It's this one, and what's this? Cooper's office staffed by an. Okay. This courthouse. What I'm thinking with this is when we build it, and we'll probably build it in a similar sort of area. Maybe set back a little bit. Maybe somewhere over here. And we can have, where are they? Let's have a look. The, um, I'm sure it's, it's this one. We've got all these punishment things, haven't we? So if we have a quick look, let me rotate that around. So we can hang people. We've got a guillotine for chopping some heads off and some stocks. Well, oh, actually, <laughs> I think the developers of this game are quite sadistic. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's a fair few ways to, to execute and punish people. But I think we'll have that in this area. And look at that, we've got quite a few people now. So I'm going to put one person in here. Yeah, straight away they're going to fill that up like crazy. Which is going to take some pressure off my barns as well. My barn, that's completely full. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm pushing a button on that, but... This menu here keeps disappearing. For the life of me, I don't know why. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll let them build that, so... Need these houses as well. I think it's starting to come together now as well. You know? I might put a person in there as well. Oh, look, I'm missing all these traders. Not paying attention. Turnip seeds. No. I'm guessing you're a... A seed vendor by the looks of it. This seems to add millions and millions of seeds to this game. So many different crops you can actually build now. It's it's really good. Reserve of firewood is still too low. I'll put another builder in. I have to say that I am really enjoying this this new version of Colonial Charter because. They seem to listen to everything that we say, so as we said before with the key walls, before they really they were really awkward to put in, but now you know you can build them pretty much anywhere, which allows a little bit more margin for area, which is really good. And also not that I've tried them yet. We've got these tiered buildings as well. It just adds so much to it. So I do suggest if you know when you're playing this game, there's something that you really want and you think everyone else would enjoy it, just maybe go and sign up on their forum or send them a tweet. Just you know, give give them your your thoughts and ideas. And uh, if you're feeling generous as well, you can donate to them. I know I think they do it for the fun of it, but still, I think uh, one of the best ways of showing your support for something is uh, is to drop them some money. Even if it's only so they can buy themselves some beer. Why not? <laughs> right. 
Town Hall. Let's try the old prioritize button. Where's the building? It is there, isn't it? Oh no, it's there. Am I still running that time stand? I am. I thought it was going really quick. Chickens! <gasps> we will take them. Because <laughs> I lost my other chickens. So that's 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 gonna fix that issue. And we have we already have the space for them, so um Whoops. Look at that, eh? That was a good guess. That that was pure guess. Take them. Don't want me messing with that because this Oh it's the same guy anyway. Hmm. I'm just thinking I'm pretty sure well sheep are useful for making clothes but we need le leather I don't know if bison provide that or not because the hunter's lodge is only just about covering us right, so we've got some chickens we'll put them in there and we'll take one of the people and they'll come running across here at some point Oh, right, so he makes cheese and butter as well. I thought that might have been a separate building. Okay, that's brilliant. That's, that's really good. I'm wondering if you need butter for baking, actually. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, me oh right, so we are... They do slaughter the cows once in a while, then. Because we are getting some leather from it, so that's good. So that answers the question about the bison, because I guess you would work exactly the same way. Somebody's cold. Is it firewood? Yeah, we're having a real issue with the old firewood, aren't we? And I do like the fact they've changed the colours of the icons. Before they were all yellow, but that blue makes sense. It stands out, the cold and blue, especially that sh shade of blue, is associated with coldness. Especially when you're, especially when you're zipping along, maybe zoomed out, you can pick it up straight away. The food is going through the roof. Right, what are these guys up to? They're making a lot. I think. Well, five, six. Maybe I'm putting a bit too much into these buildings. Maybe drop that down to five thousand. I know. Maybe later on I might regret that because seeds are really expensive. What have we got in this one? Only three. Yeah, that's not too bad. Actually, I'm going to drop that to two. Because I think all I'm going to buy from here, not so much at the moment, but later on is going to be food. So they should empty out a little bit, which, yeah, look, it's shooting up now, which means this guy will get some more. And I would assume they'd make more than... 184 a season if they had it. If you guys um, got any ideas, I know some of you are uh, starting to interact with me and talk to me now. Um, but if you do have any ideas about what what we should do, because I do I do like to think I have quite quite the eye for detail and seeing things. But you know, if if you've got an idea that's better than mine, please share it. And. Um, and we'll have a look and we'll try and put it in and maybe even give you a shout out. Unless it's a really good idea, then I'll, I'll just claim it and say it's mine. If it's if it's an absolutely appalling one, then maybe we'll, we'll give you the shout out then. <laughs> but on that note, it's time to uh, finish this episode. So until next time, take care.